so, uh, you know, I'd been working for 45 years in Delhi. So I looked up the weather in Newcastle, bought myself an overcoat and moved there in 2006. Uh, having moved there, I gave a similar lecture to a faculty and they said, uh, you know, you're a bit daft there. You can't say that children can learn everything by themselves. So I said, well, let's design an experiment for something that children cannot learn by themselves. So I made a research question. Can Tamil-speaking children in a tsunami-hit village in southern India teach themselves the biotechnology of DNA replication in English from a roadside computer? Okay. So I said, well, how long did it take you to figure that out, that you can't understand it? So they said, no, we look at it every day. So I said, you, you don't understand anything, and you look at the same thing every day. So that little girl whose you know, bow you can see, she raises her hand. She was 12 then. And she says to me in broken Tamil and English, apart from the fact that improper replication of the DNA molecule causes genetic disease, we've understood nothing else. <laughs> so, so, so I learned another lesson that when a child says, I, don't, I haven't understood, well, don't take him at face value. <laughs> you know, God knows what he's understood. I gave them six GCSE questions, six years ahead of their time. The best group got everything right in 20 minutes, the worst in 45. The teachers came back in. The teachers said, so what? So they've been using Google. They've been using Wikipedia. They've been using Answer Bag, Ask Jeeves. So what are you trying to prove? So I said, well, I'll come back in two months. I came back in two months. I gave them sheets of paper. And I said, answer those six GCSE questions without computers, without talking to each other. They got the same scores. This time, the teachers were stunned. They said they're reproducing those screens that they saw two months ago with photographic clarity. I don't know what went on inside that experiment, but two years later now, they can still say exactly what those answers are. Maybe because they had found it for themselves, and I hadn't told them.